So, Duncan's Place Again, which I like the song um, because I think it's, uh, it's my, my best handled, my most deft um, version of kind of a satirical look at um, contemporary American mythology, especially you know, um, mythology of the South and the romanticism of the Byronic hero, um, which you hear that kind of stuff a lot in, uh, in Dylan stuff, especially of the, of the mid seventies. And I always related to it. And I've tried to do, um, songs that ex explored this kind of imagery uh before and they have been pretty um ham-handed i guess you know they just haven't been what i was going for so here's another uh go with duncan's place <laughs> Terrible ride. One more time, maybe tomorrow I'll come around and knock in place. 
but that's not important. And I love this. I've got to find some grace. Got to find a new grace. <laughs> I've got to find some grace. Sorry. Whatever hell may come. I know there can't be much in this dirty old world. But Lord, there must be some. That whole sequence. Love the dogs Love it. in my 86 cutlass that still smells like a mandolin. I had an 86 cutlass. Find a line of white crown bits. I had a crown deck too. <laughs> I have a wolf. Oh, it is that they're rounding up while all the spirits are looking down. I wait a while and I watch the show. There's all of us on the same out of town. I'm rambling down on the flesh colored highway looking for the devil or a mandolin. I'm trying to figure out which one of them is out here looking for me. That's all that. Um, I'm hung up on this song too. Um, you know, you can get to trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. You get seduced by things. Um, it's happened to me many times, you know, just like a line or an idea. And that's like, if you have a title, you, you know, you have a first line, uh, you have an idea for a chorus. Uh, some people can make great songs out of that, but when I try to do that, it just sounds false and, you know, uh, inauthentic and um, contrived. Um, but you just get that one little idea that it hasn't, you know, that, it, that it's come from somewhere other than some kernel of truth, you know, or some true thought, some true feeling, and you try to, and I try to build a song around that. It's, um, it's, it's tricky, you know, I like to get the, truth first but you can never really tell you know um you get an idea for a song and you start writing it by the time you're done you don't necessarily remember what the impetus was for it, what the catalyst was so i mean you can go years uh trying to trying to jolt some life into a, into a song that just isn't true but you don't know because you don't remember they didn't start with some kernel of truth. Um, and I think that that is, uh, I think that's true for creators of any kind, except maybe photographers. <clears throat> um, and I don't know. So I don't know if there is something in this song that is just complete bullshit and isn't the truth. Um, to me, it's a song, it's about, uh, choosing between two powers um you know in this one it's uh it's the devil and it's amanda lee and one is pursuing the narrator and the narrator is pursuing amanda lee but then amanda lee and um the devil are uh the kind of two sides of the same coin it's like this weird uroboros you know this circular thing and so and I remember when I wrote it, it kind of came out of those feelings. Um, you know, having to choose between two powers. Uh, I don't recall what they were, and I don't know what they would be for the narrator in this song. Um, and I think that's better because if I knew, um, well, then I'd have an agenda with the song. And I think that you can make art with a particular meaning and a particular message. Um, but you can also make art uh, the kind that I uh, make um, for whatever reason. I fucking forgot what the fuck I was going to say. I'm so stoned. Hmm.